Hello, it's Mark Laurie on a Wednesday, a beautiful Wednesday with our YouTube update. And we're glad you're with us. Today we delivered 3,988 meals. People often ask, why? Why the number? It's really to show the work that's done in the kitchen and the cafeteria staff. Thank you to all. Tomorrow's a, tomorrow is Thursday. Friday's a double meal day. Uh, please, staff, check your email at least twice a day. Uh, there is information there from Ms. Massaro and the Human Resources Office about HRAs, FSAs. If you have the need to find something out, you'll find it through the email that she sent to those that have asked questions about it. Also, staff, if you uh, receive a pay stub that have not been mailed to you, they will be in your schools when you're in to pick up your rooms and to uh, put some finishing touches on your room. So your pay stubs will be available when you go to pick up your rooms at the assigned time by your principal. Uh, Mr. Slayman, who does a great job with our post-prom party and all of the wonderful things he does at the high school, is going to be sending out a district email, but it goes beyond the district folks, to ask you to take out an ad in our graduation book. It's a slick book. It's going to be professionally published. It celebrates and fates our graduates. Please consider taking out an ad. Uh, Mr. Slayman will be sending information out over the uh, district email, and I'll be talking more about it. I aired when announcing the final day of work for school psychologists. It's June 16th, June 16th for school psychologists. Of course, our teaching staff works until June 12th and the students work until June 9th. Tonight's board meeting is live streamed on our YouTube channel. Please pay, join us and watch our board meeting, 5.30 and 7 o'clock. Um, two congratulations notes today. The first being Logan Lorino and family. Logan and his family uh, created over 200 masks to wear for those essential workers and staff. Logan, we thank you for being a Niagara Falls High School student, your family for helping us so much. We're glad you're with us. And also Sophia Duffy. Sophia is an 11th grade region student who wrote a first person account as one of her assignments about what's it like to be a student in the COVID crisis, and it's going to be published in the Gazette. Thank you, Sophia. Great job. I look forward to reading your story, and I'm uh, proud of you, as is your English teacher, Mrs. Burke. So congratulations. Um, the hand sanitizer is close by me. We are washing our hands. We are staying socially distant. We are wearing face coverings. We're following all the rules no matter what phase we're in. We're, we're trying to do the very best to keep this virus away from all of us, especially in the school district in the city. So thank you so very much for your cooperation. Give someone a call or a text or an email that you haven't spoken to. They'll appreciate it. I know that very much means a lot to those folks when we do that. Those are the uh, nuggets of information today. We appreciate all your support. Stay with us and have a great Wednesday evening.